Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Luke FC. It just got updated to 0.9.0, which is amazing because two games that weren't supported in the past, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Starfield, is now supported. And I'm gonna show you Starfield today. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the game without the mod, and then I'll show you the game with the mod. And then later on I'll show you how to install it on my Steam Deck desktop mode. So this is the gameplay without the mod. Let me show you my settings. Okay, display settings. So borderless full screen on, dynamic resolution off, render resolution scale at 67%. And then the graphic preset I set it to low, and then I just turned off motion blur, and I turned off V-Sync. Upscaling is FSR2, sharpening is 0%, um, film grain also turned off. Okay, and we're at New Atlantis. It's not the hardest city to run. I think Aquila, Aquila is the hardest city to run. Okay, so yeah, let's just take a look. I think we get like below 30 frames. Like sometimes we hit the 30 frames, but um, yeah, mostly below 30s. And it sometimes drops into the low 20s or even the teens. So I've got cryo utilities on recommended settings and I've got um, four gigabytes. See here is in the teens. Okay. So I've got four, um, four gigabytes of VRAM and my Steam OS is on the stable version 3.5.7, the latest stable release. And if you take a look at my um, Steam settings, so performance tab, I've just disabled frame limit. Everything else is off. And on power tools, I've got SMT on, eight threads, and governor set to performance. So that's my settings, basically. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the game with the mod on. I'm going to turn off the game. And I'm going to add the launch options to enable the mod. So I've done all the, like, moving the mod files over to the game folder already. I'll show you how to do that later. But now, let me just add the launch options so I can enable the mod. And I'll show you the gameplay. It takes a bit of time to load the game. So I've also tried Red Dead Redemption 2, but um, not much success because you need to be on DirectX 12. And when I load Red Dead Redemption 2 on my Steam Deck, um, it runs fine on Falcon. But once I change it to DirectX 12, I can't load the game. I can't even boot up the game. So if you know how to do that, let me know in the comments. All right, now let's go to settings, display. I'm basically going to keep everything the same. So you can see dynamic resolution off, render scale at 67. Yeah, everything else is the same, except here, upscaling. I'm going to keep it at FSR 2. Frame generation now. I've got Because I've got the mod on, I can enable frame generation so on DLSS and then Nvidia reflex low latency I'm going to put it on plus boost yeah and everything else is the same so upscaling make sure it's on FSR 2 don't put it on DLSS you need to be on FSR 2 for this mod to work okay and now I'm just going to go back to New Atlantis boot up the game okay so yeah as I was saying Red Dead Redemption 2, I can't get it to run on my Steam Deck with DirectX 12. I'm not sure why. It works fine with Vulcan. Um, yeah, so I'll keep trying. So if I get Red Dead Redemption 2 working, I'll let you guys know. And yeah, maybe leave in the comments um, what games you want me to test out with this new mod. 0.9.0 now. So yeah, it might get to version 1 soon. I'm not sure if Luke would, it's a paid mod. So yeah, just to let you guys know, currently it's still paid, but um, he did say that he'll release it free at some point, maybe at version one, never know, not sure. But uh, currently it's paid. So you have to join his Patreon, Luke FC's Patreon. Okay, so now the mod is on and you can see we're getting over 30 frames already, right? Which is an improvement, which is an improvement, but like the graphics, I think like it does like look a little bit worse i think like it looks fine on handheld mode but um 
like when you're playing on the Steam Deck screen. But now I've got a capture card and it's blown up to like 1080p. It does look a little bit worse. The graphics it does look a little bit worse. But uh, yeah, frame rate wise, we are getting better. Like we're like mostly above 30. Sometimes it drops into the 20s. And in this area, remember this area, we get the teens where this grass area. Yeah, we get like 20 ish here. Get 20 ish here. So the mod is working, but we do get an improvement in the FPS performance. But uh, I think it did take a hit on the graphic side. And latency, I don't like input lag, I don't really. I don't feel anything. I'm not sure if it's just me. But yeah. This is not the hardest cities to run. Maybe um uh, can I can I teleport here? Let me see. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a long time. Can I go to Oh maybe I just load. Yeah, I think that would be an easier way to do it. So let me load um a killer. A killer city. Like this is one of the hard cities to load, like to run. I remember when I played it on the Steam Deck, you're getting like the teens, like low twenties teens. So let's see with the mod on, with FSR three mod on, see how it does, how it performs. Okay. It does take a while to boot this game. It's a big game. Not very well optimized, in my opinion. Like, it could be better. Like, the game could be better. I think, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's laziness or, or it, like, they had a schedule to meet or what, whatever reason. Like, I think this game could be well optimized. Okay, so we get like 20 ish. And yeah, here it still dips into the teens. Which is normal. But um, yeah, we do get like, this is a really hard city to, to run. So we get high 20s. Mid to high, I guess. But it does feel like, yeah, a little bit sluggish, I think. It doesn't really feel... But it does perform a little better than um without the mod like in frame rate but like i think i kind of like it without the mod on the graphics and yeah but if you're playing on handheld mode steam deck handheld mode it, it's a lot better like don't take this as like the final because it's going through a capture card and you know it's, it's blown up to 1080p so if you're playing on your steam deck screen the screen on your steam deck it, it's a lot better so just know that the mod does improve performance and you know if, if that's your thing go try it out on your steam deck um screen okay so enough of that let's go into my desktop mode and i'll show you how it's um installed so see you back on desktop mode okay so before we go any further i'd like to introduce you to my secondary channel it's called growing up cooking other than gaming cooking is also a passion of mine so i'd like to share some of my cooking dishes recipes on that channel if you like gaming you like eating and you want to support me please go over there and subscribe to that channel i'll give you some sneak preview right now all right we're gonna kill it are you ready oh my god Oh god, put the sauce in. Mm. So did you enjoy that? Watch the full video at Growing Up Cooking. Links in the description. Okay, welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is locate your game folder. So I've got mine right here, Home Game Starfield. This is where my starfield.exe is. This is where we're going to move our mod files. And then go to your mods. I've got mine right here, Luke FC Mods, the latest version as of recording, 0.9.0. This is the version where 
it like works for Red Dead Redemption 2 and Starfield. Okay, we're going to use the 220. Okay. And then there's two files, two zip files, 220.zip and a common.zip. All right. So let's open 220.zip first. Okay. Extract this to the game folder. I'm going to overwrite because I've already done it before. And then also open up the common.zip. Do the same thing. I'm just going to extract the ones needed. The optional ones aren't needed, so I'm not going to extract those. Okay, so three files, winmm.dll, winmm.ini, and then this one, lukefcdlss.dll thing. So we're going to overwrite because I've already done it before. And then finally, you also need to extract this, enable fake gpu.zip. Okay, we need to extract this as well to the game folder where the exe is okay so that's it that's all the files the mod files that you need to put into your game folder now open up your steam locate your game go into its properties and you need to add this in the launch options all right wine dll overrides equals win mm equals native built-in then percentage command percentage i'll leave this in the uh, description you can copy it you don't need to like type it out yourself then we can run the game all right it's, it's really easy to install the mods now it's getting easier and easier which is a good thing so the mod menu uh, the mod window so yeah we know the mod is working and also one thing i forgot to mention before this game needs to be at least version 1.8.86 that's when starfield like has official support for nvidia dlss and um frame generation so see here at the bottom version 1.8.86.0 that's the version you need to be at least all right this or above so now you can see we can go here and we've got the frame generation okay and make sure if this mod needs to be on it's on upscaling fsl2 and not dlss so make sure it's on fsl2 and then frame generation on and then I normally put the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency on plus boost. I'm not sure if that makes any difference, but uh, that's what I normally put it on. Okay, so that's how you get the mod working, guys. So I hope this video helped you out. Let me know in the comments what games you want me to test with the FSR3 mod. And, you know, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.